Hey everybody, Anis here, White Acre Properties. I'm in Marlboro today at 18 McDonough Drive. We just went pending on this single family home and we have spent a lot of time here. We've done some really nice design work. So follow me around, I'll show you guys exactly what we did, go over some numbers and talk about uh, the whole project and what I learned from it. So let's go take a look. All right, welcome in. So it's a split level house, but let me show you this first floor really quick. A nice open floor plan as everybody likes it kitchen dining uh, living area right there so it, it's it, it, it's a nice house we didn't do a lot of work it wasn't a full gut by any means but uh, as I go through the first floor I'll show you guys exactly what we changed and what was here um, this definitely wasn't a, a full gut where we spent months and months but definitely uh, we we put a lot of effort on design. So let me actually turn, go around and start in the kitchen. So this whole kitchen didn't feel this open. It, it actually, the wall came all the way here where I'm, where I'm at right now, and it made this kitchen a lot smaller. Um, what we decided to do is demo the wall, go back, put the fridge here, and create this um, U-shape with a peninsula island, right? Um, spent a little bit more money on the quartz countertops, some nice cabinets, brand new appliances. We put this nice um, backsplash, nice light fixtures and all that. I can't take credit for all of this. I, I can't really come up with this nice product. So I, I wanna thank everybody that was involved here. Um, Amy for the design, staging. Uh, thank you to Chelsea, Jimmy for all the project management because I can't do this alone. You know, I, I show you guys this nice product, but this is not me. Uh, I'm involved in it, but there is a lot more people that helped me come up with this nice design. Um, all right, let me turn around again. This whole area was existing. We put new windows. Staging obviously makes a big difference. You guys know that I'm a big fan of staging. Um, if you need our connection to Chelsea, please let me know. She is a subcontractor. Uh, she works with other investors and other people. So if you need that introduction, please let me know. Uh, we did brand new decking as far as composite decking because everybody wants maintenance free nowadays so we did that uh, new slider that's the extent of the work that we did here um, hardwood floors we spent a little bit more money this time to do um, lighter hardwood floors as far as stain goes uh, if you notice we're putting a lot more emphasis on design nowadays because it definitely helps us get the maximum dollars when we go sell it um, i'll show you this cathedral ceiling living room really quick and then we go check out the bathrooms all right, so bathroom number one, um, we did keep the walls here, but actually, let me go ahead. We did keep the walls, but the flooring is brand new, the vanity is brand new, toilet, tile, tub, this is all brand new stuff. Nice mirrors, nice lights. Um, I'm really happy with the finished product here. All right, so in total, we have three bedrooms. This is bedroom number one. All we did here is paint it, put the floors, the new window, stage it, that's about it. Um, same thing on this one, you know, they are identical in size, a lot of staging, um, and that's all we did. All right, let's go upstairs. So upstairs we got the master bedroom, master bath, and a study room. One, one thing that we actually decided to change is this was a half wall going across uh, all the way across because right above it right now we have I call it a study room but it's, it's, it's actually an office and that was open so we said hey if we actually because everybody working from home they everyone is looking for an office if they want a nice quiet space they probably don't want to hear the kids or the other family members from below so we actually framed plastered painted this so we covered and separated the two, two areas all right so Let's go into the master space. Definitely my favorite part. Uh, it's good size. You got closets on the corner, closets on the other side. Uh, so plenty of closet space. And then you got this nice office space right next to it. 
So literally, you can get out of bed, take care of your business in the bathroom and come here and get to work. You don't have to go too far. Um, what we did here, so one big difference is this double window. This used to be a sliding door. They had, they had a balcony and a sliding door. That balcony was completely rotted, was in poor shape. So it didn't make any sense. Why should we have a balcony of an office space? So we actually closed it, put two brand new windows. They can use this as a fourth bedroom or they can use this as a nursery, whatever. You got space for a closet. So technically it can be a fourth bedroom. Um, all right, let me show you the master bathroom really quick. All right. Check this out. <laughs> nice shower. I I really, I'm very actually happy with this design and what, what we came up here. Um, to tell you guys exactly what happened here, we had a big window. That big window got reframed. Um, we had this space, but it was a tub. So we had to demo the tub, um, put this nice tile, put this, you know, all these nice fixtures in there, and then wrapped it up with this nice glass shower door from uh, our buddy Joe Flynn. So thank you, Joe, if you're watching this. Um, and then a, a vanity, all the fixtures that Annie chose uh, that, that you know made this place look amazing. So we didn't, again, we didn't cut this space. It's just the finishes, tile, vanities, fixtures, lights. That's what gives this room character. So, all right, guys, let's go downstairs. I'll show you the basement, and then I'll give you a little bit more context on how we found the deal, how did you know how much we got for it, and talk some. Uh, some numbers all right let's go all right guys we're in the basement right now so let me show you this space here uh vinyl flooring because we're in the basement um and what else we did here actually it's existing so everything is existing i think we replaced the um floor tiles i'm sorry the, we replaced the ceiling tiles uh we did close one window there because we had a lot of um rotted trim and and, and wood so we cl we closed that that wasn't uh, something we wanted to keep and then washer and dryer here and um, the furnace area so I actually want to show you the furnace really quick it's nothing special but there's a point that I want to make I'll come back to this really quick we this is the only thing actually that we didn't change that was one of the big ticket items and the reason why I did that is because of the market we're in right now in 2021 or even you know past COVID the last few months in extremely low inventory and people are fighting to get a property like this so it didn't make sense for us to replace it was working fine i know it's like 30 years old and it's past its useful life but it didn't make sense for us to go spend the money uh, because we knew we were going to secure a buyer that's going to buy this as is so that was the idea um, it's important i i want to emphasize this because you don't want to fix everything it doesn't make any sense to actually go top to bottom and and, and change everything uh, you really want to maximize your investment and obviously we're a for-profit business so whatever we spent we want to make a profit on that um, so we did change things like windows we did change the, the, the uh, roofing we didn't change the siding because it was in good shape we just changed some a rotted trim um, but why change things that actually are looking good right so siding we painted we kept the furnace uh, unfortunately we couldn't do anything with the existing kitchen because that's where the value is people come in we wanted to wow the buyer with kitchen and bathroom so uh, but if you notice through the walkthrough I didn't change a ton of stuff here uh, it's just finishes you know we didn't got it we, we didn't go crazy and uh, keep your profit in mind as you go through this properties don't have to be a 10 out of 10 to sell for top dollars they can be you know six seven out of ten and people will still bid each other out get your top price because there's nothing out there so keep inventory in mind all right let me show you the garage really quick and I'll give you some backstory on the property and then we'll wrap it up so garage painted the flooring changed the gr two garage doors so those were just too old to keep there was no way around it I kept the electric uh, we kept the electric panel because it's fine it's not fuses or anything um, and that's about it oil tank stayed the same you know we didn't go crazy we just like I said painted floors painted walls and changed the garage doors all right so let's go inside let's go upstairs because it's much warmer and then I'll uh, we'll we'll give you guys some numbers 
so guys go back a, a, a few videos and look at the original video we we actually did here um i think i brought you in the first or second week so you could see the before and after uh, if if we can we'll probably put some photos so you can see the before and after here as well but basically what happened they got a the way we secured this proper is we sent a direct mail letter out they called us i think it was a divorce situation uh, where they had a court order and they had to sell by a certain date so the motivation was extremely high uh, mark our acquisition manager signed it on the spot and what we paid for it is 232,000 so 232,000 for a three bedroom two bath in Marlboro in a really good location uh, we ended up spending uh, close to $90,000 in, in renovations I will do a second video maybe in a week or so where I break down exactly all the um, everything that we spent uh, and but I'll, I'll be waiting for this to go on record so I can give you guys exact numbers so as of right now we are pending um, we got an, uh, we accepted an offer but I'll wait for, I think we're three weeks away from closing so we'll wait for that and I'll post online so you can see exactly how much we made on this and all the expenses uh, because there's definitely a lot of expenses so 232 purchase price 90 in um, the renovations and we went pending for five hundred and forty thousand dollars so i can't give you an exact profit number i know it's a six figure profit on this one uh, but i'll give you exact numbers next time so things to remember is uh or things to i wanted to, to mention to you is what we brought you know the value that we brought to the seller in the first place as is sale we told them we can close when you want told them leave everything behind you don't have to clean uh, pretty much made it extremely easy for them and that's what they were looking they were under a lot of stress they were trying to get out of uh, town so you know we got a deal done because we provided value to them let's flip the coin around and let's talk about the sale price we priced this as 449 450 uh, thinking that would get somewhere around 500,000 in offers so we underpriced it uh, to get a lot of people here and the open house was crazy you guys probably have seen some photos from our social media where we had tons of people lined up uh, and people started outbidding so we received 20 offers with the highest being 540,000 so that put us at $90,000 over asking price not only that but they said you know what as is we're not gonna do an inspection so that's that's the way to do it um, again it's not all me uh, there's a great team of people here that that does a lot of work and I'm gr very grateful for so uh, let's wrap this up here I think I gave you guys a lot of content we'll do a second video with some numbers um, and maybe I'll, ha I'll think about lessons learned what went wrong because there's always something that goes wrong so thank you for following please like subscribe share uh, reach out with some comments I, I want to hear from you guys thank you